I want to bring in for a little more perspective a Democratic Indiana State Representative. Carly Maser is with us. The carrier plant that you've just been watching, where Donald Trump is, is in your district. Uh, it's nice to have you with us, Representative. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So you just listened to Donald Trump, to President-elect Trump, uh, talking about these thousand jobs. When you first heard this news, your first reaction? Well, of course, keeping good jobs in our community in the state of Indiana for hardworking Hoosiers was a real win. And I was very interested to hear more about the details about how that, that was going to work out. And what about the details? We've learned today uh, NBC News has verified with uh, someone, a, a source with knowledge of the state's negotiation uh, with United Technologies that the deal gives $7 million in financial incentives to that company over 10 years in exchange for a guarantee that the company will invest at least $16 million into its Indiana operation and, of course, will save, uh, keep those thousand jobs in place in Indianapolis. What do you think of those details? Well, I, I definitely think that, you know, this is very, very good news for the, the carrier folks that are going to be keeping their jobs. But the $7 million over the 10 years for the state of Indiana, I think it's important to continue to be vigilant with taxpayer dollars. And I can't help but have some pause as to what other companies um, are, are going to be thinking this very same thing. Um, I think it's also important to recognize that with this great news, we also have Rex Nord and, and the Huntington plant and the good workers out in Kokomo that are still going to be losing their, their, their jobs. And it's welcome news for the west side of Indianapolis, and I, I'm going to be uh, grateful um, to thank the, the taxpayers of the state of Indiana who are mm -hmm. going to be able to uh, help move this forward. But yeah, for, for the rest of the communities, there is pause for, for what's people, next. For people who don't live in Indiana, you just mentioned Huntington, which is a carrier plant. Same company, right down the street. They make electronics there. In fact, I think we have some video of people standing outside today with signs saying, Where's my, what about my job? Because they're moving 700 jobs to Mexico at that carrier plant in Huntington. Uh, that's scheduled to happen. There's also that company you just mentioned, Rexnerd, which makes ball bearings. They announced in October that they're moving to Mexico. So are you concerned that while he's helped at this one facility for carrier, that, that, that it's not sustainable to kind of go company by company he says he says it is i mean donald trump just said that there will be consequences if any corporation tries to move jobs outside the u.s well, I just, I think that uh, certainly, I think there is some pause there. I think it was going to be difficult to continue to mimic what's happened here um, for our carrier workers and families. I mean, it's great news for them, but I, I think it's really hard to imagine right now that it's going to be able to keep these other jobs that are so important to working families, the middle class that really needs these good paying jobs. To think that, that they are all going to be saved is very difficult to wrap my, my mind around, but I, I am looking forward to the job jobs that we do have and will be keeping, as well as any job that we can keep in the United States. To play devil's advocate, though, you're a Democrat. Hillary Clinton talked a lot about jobs. Do you think if she had won the presidency, those thousand carrier jobs would exist today, would, would not move to Mexico? You know, I really can't say for sure. I, I really, um, I, I, I would like to think that there would have been um, certainly um, some work done there, but it's very difficult to say. And let me just ask you lastly about Bernie Sanders. He wrote a, Senator Bernie Sanders wrote an op-ed today in the Washington Post about this deal. It reads in part, in essence, United Technologies took Trump hostage and won. And that should send a shockwave of fear through all workers across the country. Trump has endangered the jobs of workers who were previously safe in the United States. Why? Because he's signaled to every corporation in America that they can threaten to offshore jobs in exchange for business-friendly tax benefits and incentives. Do you agree with the senator or does he go too far. You know, I, I understand where uh, Senator Sanders is coming from. I, I can re, I can understand it, um, but I think that uh, we also have to uh, be prepared to find some middle ground. And uh, I, again, I, I understand his points and know where he's coming from, but I think that there's an opportunity for us to find some middle ground as well. Carly Maser, a state representative in Indiana, in the area where that carrier plant is located. Thanks so much for being with us. Really appreciate your perspective. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.